With us now is Jason, and we're going to be talking about the truffle shuffle. And it's not a new dance craze. How are you, Jason? What up, Donna? <laughs> it's good to have you here. So where are you calling in from today? So we're over here in our studio kitchen in Oakland, California. That's a nice kitchen. What got you started in this? Tell us a little bit about the truffle shuffle story. Absolutely. So we started Truffle Shuffle just after I left the French Laundry. And so I always wanted to be a chef. I love cooking. And as a little kid, I also loved business, crazy enough. And so I always had this dream of being a chef businessman, right? And I used to play with the Easy Bake Oven. And then I had a briefcase filled with Monopoly money. And so wow. I... I uh, didn't have the money to go to culinary school or, or even go to college, but I made my way to the French Laundry. Uh, I showed up with a bottle of wine that said Relentless and asked for an opportunity to work hard. I got to spend four years at the restaurant. And when I was there, I met my beautiful wife, Sarah, and my best friend, Tyler, uh, both of whom I'm business partners with now in Truffle Shuffle. And so we left the restaurant and seeing uh, I watched my dad build a business and I kind of saw, you know, like restaurants are a business cooking is an art and chefs are artists right and so i told tyler i was like hey we need to start a business not a restaurant let's start a business and so we literally started out took all the money we had saved up came out to be about ten thousand euros right strapped it to one of our buddies chests sent him to italy and then he started sending truffles back and we started in 2018 just hustling fresh truffles going door to door doing whatever it took to move the product. And then when the pandemic hit, we pivoted to start doing these virtual cooking classes truly out of necessity, Donna. Okay. We had 20 pounds of fresh truffles that we had to figure out how to sell. Otherwise, right. we're going out of business. We had just hired three new people in the business and we're gonna have to lay them off. And we did a black truffle risotto cooking class where we actually delivered the ingredient kits to people. And just seeing people at home cooking together really made us realize our passion. And so. It made all the difference in the world. It's, yeah. it's absolutely incredible. So I was uh, sharing with you in the green room that my uh, grandfather was a chef. And truffles are such a delicacy. But now you're able to bring this delicacy either to the home cook or to the professional chef. Um, you're giving them access to top ingredient. Yep. And it's, it's, uh, it's pretty incredible in the classes. You know, we got... Uh, four-year-olds, five-year-olds that go to school and the parents will tell me that literally they'll be like, so what did you do this weekend? And the kids will be like, oh, we cooked with truffles. We love truffles. And so it's pretty funny to see them. Now, there's this um, legend that only a pig can actually like sense out like the, a, an actual truffle, right? I don't even know where that story came from, but what is the actual accurate way of how truffles are found? So that story actually came from uh, the first time they found truffles. And so it's kind of a folklore that gets sold over time. And the story goes that there's a, uh, a farmer that was having trouble having kids, right? And he saw his pig out in the field and he was eating what he thought were potatoes. But they're these like funny looking potatoes. The pig eats the potatoes and doesn't die. So then the farmer goes and harvests them and cooks them and eats them. And because of that, he ended up having six kids. And so what they, they kind of learned is that pigs are naturally attracted to truffles, right? But you can actually train dogs to find them just like you would, uh, you know, like a, a drug sniffing dog to be able to find truffles. And there you go. So the legend actually is based on, you know, something in reality, right? So it's not just folklore. It actually comes from somewhere. There's different types of truffles and you have different types of products. So tell us about Truffle Shuffle truffles and products. Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, we started the business really focused on truffles, really kind of uh, trying to figure out how to help chefs tell the same story that they were telling with their their fish butcher, with their meat butcher, with their, their farmers and their gardeners, tell that same story about their truffle hunter. And so we started out super focused on truffles. And then now that we do these virtual cooking classes, we've allowed it to kind of expand our horizons. And so we offer fresh truffles direct to consumer, right? So you can purchase them right from us. We'll ship you. We have black truffles, white truffles, and burgundy truffles, depending on the season. And we ship them right to you. Oprah, 
So there are some of her favorite truffles. Um, and then we have a couple of different products that we use the truffles for, truffle carpaccio. We got a couple behind us, a really awesome truffle kettle corn, a brown butter truffle honey that's made with the same honey that they use at the French Laundry. And then we put brown butter solids in it and it is super delicious. And then what we, what we do and what our main business is now is we do these virtual cooking classes. So we'll take uh, up to a thousand screens on zoom right send everyone all the ingredients they need to cook something like uh, fettuccine alfredo and then we'll teach them how to do it step by step we like to have a uh, fun guest on we've had snoop dog on a class where oh, he was yeah. the the judge for a pasta rolling competition we've had the cast of hamilton on do like an opera in the middle of a roast chicken class and so we like to have a lot of fun with that and then we do that for private events too so people will do the class, have a lot of fun, and they'll book it for their whole company or their family or group of friends. I just want to congratulate you on having an opportunity to make a success of yourself by just believing in yourself, you know, engaging your friends and just saying, you know what, we're going to put this into action and never looking back because that's what it takes. Anybody can have a dream or a vision, but it takes that moment of action, pooling together a team. So congratulations to you and to your entire team at Truffle Shuffle. Um, and is, I think there needs to be a dance, right? Truffle shuffle dance. Do you have a truffle shuffle dance? So it's actually based off of the, the little dance they do in the Goonies. <laughs> there you and go. And so that's actually signed by the guy that does the truffle shuffle in the Goonies. Oh, my gosh. Jason, that's really cool. I, I didn't know. Sometimes I intuit, like, uh, I intuit the questions. And I guess there you go. I must have picked up on that energy right there. That's awesome. So cool. Yeah. So there's a dance. It's a little bit embarrassing of a dance. Uh, if you Google truffle shuffle, you will see it. I'm ready Front to do the down. truffle shuffle. Are you ready? Anyway, <laughs> it was fun to have you here today. And I can't wait. I know that uh, I'm going to have a special event coming up in December, and I'll be serving a lot of your products. And I can't wait for that. It's going to be magical. So thank you, my friend, and happy journeys well, to you. And I'm and already, I told you, I'm sal salivating a little bit. I'm embarrassed to say so, but it's true. Can't wait. Okay. Be well. Bye. Bye-bye.